And no, wrong again, go Death Royale. What is back. going on? You're wrong again. You don't get that. <laughs> a clinks. That's actually shocking to me. That is, I mean, I agree. I mean, what... No classic I think Wisp now the Wisp is more just going to be buddy-buddy with Legion Commander at this point because it yeah. seems a bit unnecessary to try to stay side-by-side oh, side with that's that. Oh, maybe the Wisp yeah. the Gyro. That's yeah. the Wisp yeah. You're right. So yeah. went Legion ahead in... Yeah, the Wisp is for Legion Commander. So they're going to have a Puck and a Clink's solos and then the Bane supporting one of them and then maybe the Legion IO middle I think is probably likely. The Legion actually benefits a lot from Wisp. You know, the mana region is really great for spamming your nuke. Your nuke is amazing. And then it's against the melee hero mid, so they should do very well in the mid lane. I didn't actually even consider the Legion Commander Wisp. And then you also have the relocate dual ganks, so... Yeah. I have yet, I have yet to see it really take off. The first Legion Commander game as well had yeah. a Wisp Legion Commander in the hands of Navi US. They obviously they didn't really make a lot zero. out of it, but you could... Yeah, they, they lost. Five the Legion Commander going 0 and 10. It was pretty hard. Empire. Well, I mean, if it was any other team, I'd surprise, but it's Empire. And Silent I don't know, it's still surprising to me so. with these against these heroes. Like, against Legion Commander, you don't want to pick a f such a fragile core. I mean, even when Gyro gets like two items, two, three items, he's just gonna die if he ever gets dueled. Although they, I will say, they do have the disruption, so... Maybe they're just gonna bank on the disruption to save the Gyrocopter all game. He's not, uh, sporting our West oh, Virginia no. BTS set, though, so... Silent, Rip I'm not happy about truck. that whatsoever. I want the pickup, the pickup truck, you know? <laughs> that truck gets me every time. I think... I think people would rather just have the pickup truck for the set than the actual <laughs> flying device, you know? Oh, man. Which I they think need, I would like, be the first to buy it. Now. They need that truck Hidden as Arcana. a courier or something. <laughs> oh, that would be fantastic. Oh, but uh, here we go already. Yeah, Wisp and Legion Commander side by side. Oh, they're they're going to be uh, aggressively moving in. and Yeah, and they quickly ward up before even Silent catches a, catches a drift as far as what the hell happened. He's uh, sweeping on through here, but we're in it, folks. We're looking to take it home right here. This is game number six of six today. The six best of one. A matchup between Power Rangers uh, going against Team Empire. Based on their records right now, Power Rangers, they're sitting pretty nice. They're in third place, scoring a five and three record. Would love to kind of secure a spot in the top four and move on to the playoffs. And for Team Empire, well, they are sitting at, where are they? Wow, they're a little lower than I was expecting. Two and three right now. Uh, so they definitely need a win to try to at least push themselves up a little bit higher. They have a few more games to progress through and more wins would make things a lot more secure. Could get themselves into at least tiebreaker territory. Let's go ahead and start off with some introductions. I'll lead off with the Power Rangers squad on your radiant side. It is gonna be Cheshire Cat, and I think all three games he played Legion Commander, so. Third game straight today, he'll be playing it. Nearby, lingering on the Wisp, we got Mr. Sinico. He's gonna be playing uh, as a support. Mid lane, it's going to be Shotchklo playing your Puck. These names, I just love them. Bottom lane, it's gonna be Ditya, who's playing your Clinks. This guy knows how to do side push and kind of sneak a tower behind your back, and Clinks is one of the heroes that can get it done, so look for him to play kind of that rat style, that split push objective gaming. And by his side, it's gonna be J4 playing the Bane. And then on the side of Empire, we have Silent playing his Gyrocopter. Always wanna fly on the Shadow Demon. Solo playing the Support Ogre Magi Resolution on the Mid Magnus. And in the off lane, we have Yoki playing the Bristleback. They found big success with uh, Yoki's Faceless Void, Solo in that Dark Seer, that crazy dual lane in the off that was lane. Quite the Works dual out lane. so nicely. Yeah. This time not getting so funky with their with their lane matchups, doing a little bit more of a standard kind of a lineup, having Silent build in the farm up here, and he has a couple of babysitters nearby who could eventually find an opportunity to move on in. But speaking of moving on in, it's Legion Commanders leading out the front here with the benefit of this Wisp. This is just going to be quite interesting to see that they're gonna look to capitalize on this dynamic duo. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the overcharge intense dual action that could be coming our way. So we'll see how that works out. Popping up your last hit denies. Touching base here with mid. It's going to be uh, Magnus taking on the Puck. Who, uh, Puck, much more elusive, but Magnus, very dominating. You're going to see a lot of that where the uh, Shockwave flies out and she just quickly dodges it like it's nothing. No big deal there. Four and three CS for Puck as he's got the null to kind of bring in a bit of extra damage while Magnus is tied or roughly near neck and neck with a five and one CS for him. And Power Rangers was able to... Oh, 
Oh, wow. Fire Blast into Disruption, into the uh, Heavy Barrage, but not going to be enough to take anyone down. But good overall harassment does a bit of work, but Wisp is going to be right there to eat a Tango and share the wealth with uh, LC. Yeah, they were able to just disrupt the pulling by Empire, but then Empire was able to pull it back to the big camp over here. Yeah, what you cannot see. Nice grab. They're just going to make sure Silent has the time of his life. And they get disrupted again. Soul Catcher works. Silent moves in, pulls out the Rocket Barrage. Oh, and the Ignite. Wow, he's brought really low. He's forced to pull out the Wand. Oh, man, he goes down. Oh, no. Solo just, I'm an ogre. I don't give a shit about nothing. Moves on in with his seven armor, and he's going for the ball. Get the hell back here. Nope, he can't catch up, unfortunately. If he had a little bit more mana, maybe he'd be okay. But, man, first blood. It's Empire Strikes Trisha first. Kind of made a bit of a mistake. He, I think he thought that when he ate that one tree, he was going to be able to get over to the path on the right-hand side. And then after he ate the tree, he's like, oh, I can't get over there. And then he didn't have any more tangos. Whoops. And then he ate another right-click from the ogre. That's really unfortunate. Because he had... Oh, they both have boots, Bummer. so... But Legion Commander move quick, but not quick enough to get away from that kind of harassment, hero. unfortunately. Yeah, man, oh man, that's rough. And uh, Wisp has to take the long journey back to base and walk himself all the way back up. So a promising start right now. And uh, Bane goes down to a neutral creep. And I'm just going to investigate and assume that that was just a quick yeah. trip back to the fountain sure and not really. Was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're going to give him the credit that that was the case. Let's hope. <laughs> Don't want to be accidentally yeah. dying well, to neutrals. Not really easy to see something like that happening on the map too much, so he'll just kind of walk himself back on in. He didn't have really any gold on hand. Uh, Puck is still duking it out here with Magnus, but top lane, man, I, I can't look away too long as I'll see a Whisper still pretty confident. They want to be able to contest this side pool, and, and he needs another disruption, and uh, Soul Catcher is not going to catch on him this time, but the Fire Blast will file silent, moves on in. Rocket Barrage is not going to come out, but instead just does a little bit of flat cannon damage, and that brings Tetra Cat pretty low. And with no more regen, he's relying on this Wisp to pull out all the stops and to try to heal him on up. Bane grabs the haster, and they're going on bottom, it looks like. And, uh, oh, wow, the big sap does the huge pure damage and uh, takes him down. And it's Dityara, who's end up getting the last hit. This Wisp hit. is still level 1 in this aggro, or this stool in. Oh, and then Solo dies to neutrals. Everyone's just dying to neutrals. That's the express train yeah. back to base. Without having to do the slow walk of shame. Definitely so, better. You know, as long as he bought out. Yeah. And he, he buys a smoke and a magic wand. Yep. Nothing too obscure with that one yet. It looks like uh, Resolution back in his mid lane. He's got mm. the Bounty Rune all bottom up. Looking to make it work right now. Still no Flying Courier, by the way, on the side of Power Rangers. <laughs> this is a bit uh, lacking right now from their support. It's just this ugly looking little octopus. Kind of cute, but kind of derpy thing. Yeah. Just slowly... Struggling oh, back to base. Oh, there it goes. Hey, up and away we go, boys, as he finally brought in the income to get the courier in the air, which is, is very important. Two minutes late, but I guess better late than never. But bottom lane, it's Ditya, who's uh, benefiting from a bit of space right now. 29-7 and seven to match up with his pucks, 29-6, and six, and then Silent right behind. And uh, I missed the back end of that one. I, I look away from top for one second, Cheshire Cat, and you get you get picked off. This guy make me look that bad. too. But they were able to get another kill under the top lane. If we go ahead and look at mid, it's 32 CS to 21 of Mag. Bit surprising. Mm -hmm. I think Mag does well in CS against Puck, even... But, I mean, Puck's gonna have a really easy time, though, because you can't really harass the Puck with the nukes. And then in the bot lane, yeah, got 31 CS on the Plinks compared to the 29 of Gyro. But he is against a solo hero, whereas Gyro against a dual lane. Ooh, they're trying to contest the rune up here top, but Puck's a hard, uh, hard one to grab down. John's over the left side, and Sol is able to pick up the invis rune. They see him yeah. with the uh, ball right there, but he doesn't have any mana to, to get anything done anyways. But he does end up popping up a little bit of extra mana for himself, as it looks like they maybe shared the bottle. But now he steps on back, and Puck has to retreat back towards that mid lane, taking the long road there. J4 lingering nearby. Uh, does quickly snag up a ward. And we'll go ahead and probably just put that down. So pretty calm gameplay from both sides. Solo is uh, uh, pushing on in. Is he going to put an aggressive ward down? He Simon's will. Simon's close to level 6. What are they going to do in this top lane once he hits level 6? They can just disrupt into call down, into rocket barrage, and someone's going to die. There's no living from that. Someone's going to At this point in the game. 
Well, you've been wrong in the draft. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> I mean, this game was pretty <laughs> weird uh, I'm just, I'm draft just with and you. lane choices. I mean, we talk about how the synergy is mostly going to be between Wisp and LC, but honestly, I wouldn't put it past, just from what we've seen already from Power Rangers today, if they just use Wisp to relocate <laughs> Clink's behind I mean, enemy Klinks territory and just kind of quickly to burst down a tower. Seven minutes or mid somewhere. He's all over the place oh, right now. It looks like they're going to try to coil As, resolution uh, mid. He's got a blade of attack, but already power treads. So that's an early makings, I'm assuming, of a crystalis or something, but... uh. Here we go, Orb flies out, it's not going to catch the mark. Clinks is relatively low mana, and he needs like five more seconds before he has Death Pact available if he wanted the bit of extra damage. He's kind of wasting a lot of time mid. I mean, that's time where he's not farming, yeah, and is. Silence just picking up farm in the top lane. He's caught up. He takes the Death Pact here on this neighboring yeah, they're Big gonna Bird try creep. Again mid. He, and they really want this kill. And they'll try again, yeah. A lot of time invested. All right. They have to make it work. Oh, and Magnus is like, well, perfect time for a rune, sorry. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and scout out what the hell is down here, and it's a magic DD rune. Fantastic, and that leaves Puck to pick up the bounty rune. And they're not gonna pursue anything. Diggy instead's gonna rotate all the way up to the top lane, and I'm sure by now Empire's like, where is that They have Clink's to make gone? something work with this. And he's all right, silence oh, stuff. can they burst him down before he gets anything off? Wow, they get silent down very, very quickly. He drops a call down there at the end, but obviously it's not going to come out to anything. And uh, rotations to mid lanes, and we could see uh, an engagement come out. Resolution has RP ready to go, but no one to really use it on quite yet. Puck is still here, but it's Puck is always tricky yeah. to grab. And now with Wisp nearby, it's going to be that much harder. I mean, it was definitely a good kill to get on Silent, but I feel like this Klinx is sort of playing a bit risky with these rotations. I mean, if you don't get a kill, this is such time wasted. But he was able to make it work, get a kill on the probably the most highly valued target at the moment. Oh, well, he eats a uh, <laughs> unintentional poison here as Shadow Demon is stack city right now in these uh, <laughs> neutrals. It looks like he's got three here and he's that got another three cute. over there. He, he saw them stacking, so he just walks in and blocks walks it, it with his self. Hmm. What dedication! It looks for like him, but he's, he's sort of doing like the yet. envy style. Where you just, uh, uh you. you just roam. You know, you're almost like a moving ward, and then you, I mean, you output a lot of damage. It's gotta be careful yeah, in your mid lane, they have a sentry down now. So, lots of pings here. But, Ditya makes his appearance here. No. We'll take advantage of this mid lane, but, man, it's been pretty much calm right now from both teams. As, uh... <laughs> LC still now finally gets level 6, gets that duel, and we'll see if he tries to put it right to use. But we're going to need a bit more time before Wisp gets his own level 6, and we could see any potential relocate duel ganks or anything like that nature. It's going to be a little bit. And I think... And Ogre's taking oh. advantage of mid lane. He's solo up a bit right now. Uh-oh. Oh Ooh, man, we got a DD Magnus who's ready to RP. Desperation uh, Tether gets uh, Wisp out of a potential sticky situation. And they just step on out, but Resolution's not done yet. It seems like he's just itchy to get something done, but... I mean... Did I just see? Yeah, he's doing call down so on stacks, stacks right now. There's so many stacks in this jungle. I think they're gonna give yeah, Resolution the, just... this one for his own dagger. Oh, but Clink's... Alright, fair enough. Oh, man. He's getting a, a big epic uh -oh. battle right now with a couple of tomatoes and a centaur. He gonna go? Oh, he wishes he was taking a bit more damage Radiance from those neutrals so he can jump in and make something happen, but that's not going to be so easy. He constantly is just moving about, well, up and through the enemy jungle, they are getting, getting in that bit of a intel. Lot of but on the spin. I mean, he's up to 37 CS. He's going to have a blink dagger pretty soon, and that's actually a really big item on the spin. They can set yeah, up is. easy really yeah. ganks with the blink queen strip. Okay, and uh, well, Clinks is lingering nearby and quickly takes out the courier. Doesn't have any sort of I mean, cargo, he's just but being an absolute kind of, uh, right now. Oh. uh oh, there's a dust. Ogre can't quite get the vision. Ditya's a little too quick. Can't outrun this ignite though. The, the ignite's gonna slow him down a little bit, and they're getting to rotate in. They want this so bad. Oh, they need a secondary he's dust, fine. but they got it within the vision of the tower. But he's gonna be able to walk away if they don't have extra vision. They drop an obs, but that obs isn't gonna see oh, what he's doing. So, so much space close. created right there. Space just got like. Created. I mean, the three of them chased him around for what was that, 30 seconds, and no kill. 
I think Power Rangers are perfectly fine with their position right now. I think they made a... Oh, the Bane went a Midas. Whoa! That's a Midas Bane. When was the last uh, time we've I, seen that? I, I, I would imagine that's the first Rise time that's ever been made on that here. Attack. We need some stats, men. I know there's plenty of them watching to let me know when the hell we're going to see a Bane with a Midas. Jesus Christ, G4. This is, 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 is only level 4 right now, and it's 12 minutes in the game. Like, I'm glad you have your Midas while I'm busy supporting. <laughs> they're making a go on top lane, though. They would love to get an RP call well, now. Go kind of the happening here. And, oh, they're going dual. But look who's right there. RP catches two. And it was like it was nothing. But Puck is desperate. Wants to get something going. They do manage to take down Silent. But they're... Oh, resolution. They duke it out. And they make it a three for one. Oh, man. Admiral Weapon. But look who also joined up. It's uh, J4. Gets a nice fiend grip with that defensive disruption at the back end of that one. We'll save him for now. But the sap comes in. J4 is he gonna live? does manage to finish him off in the end. Him. Wisp. Wisp is going to save him. They can also get Ogre. Oh, Shockwave takes him down pretty low, but Wisp has been healing him in the meantime. And Ogre is, thank God for that extra bit of stats and that seven armor on his side because he's a, he's going to be able to get away. Man, J4 eats another Shockwave, and he's going to have to be healed up. And quickly on the hunt oh. is going to be Cheshire Cat. Whoa, the long ball. <laughs> Gets it done. So what's that end up being? Three for uh, three. Uh, three for three? Yeah. They had to work for evening it up, but Power Rangers do manage it. And thanks for farming the bot lane this whole time, and it looks like he's going to get a tier 1 for free. This is just classic Ditya fashion as of recent. Does eat the disruption. Silence there, call down, but yeah, that call down ain't going to do nothing to a fast-moving skeleton walk clinks. So he just shuffles out of there. Puck's nearby, but has another 17 seconds before Coil's even going to be up and available, but... Looking pretty solid yeah. right now with Power Rangers, man. It looked like it was going to be a great turn for uh, Empire to get a huge fight at the top lane, but Power Rangers are able I mean, to get right back in there. Gyro did grab win the duel. He's got the 10-3 damage. Dire's top tower Big. is under attack. 10 damage to split right. amongst his flat cannon. Not yeah, too it's like free, uh... How much gold is 10 damage? Blade of attack? I don't know. It's like 500, isn't it? How about? Yeah. 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 All right. That's a good way of looking at it that I never really thought yeah. of before. You know, he's been really quiet as Bristleback. I, I almost forgot he was in the game, but he's getting a, a lot of attention right now from Ditya, who is unloading on oh. him. But from the back, it's going to take a lot of effort. Man, one more auto attack would have done it right there, there but that's going to get it done. And Uh-oh, Puck, Puck, Puck. Ooh, oosh. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Can he get away from this one? He can't. Oh, <laughs> finally gets shot down on the backhand side. It's Silent who picks up the kill on the pesky little fairy dragon. And uh, Yoki. Luckily, able to skip out of there while he was doing those stacks at Ancients, which are still there and available. He's been quietly trying to get something done on his own. We haven't seen him engaged in too many of these fights. He has his power treads, complete a stout shield. Uh, you know, one of the few heroes that could definitely still go for the uh, Vanguard, because now he could turn it into the benefit of that Crimson Guard, which eh, I guess isn't going to be too shabby. It could benefit anyone who is caught out in a duel, kind of nerfing down that I'm damage quite a bit. I'm surprised that he only has 20 yes. Yes. I mean, there was a good... Four minutes when only Bane was bottom, and the Clinks was just roaming around. And this Clinks really wants, you know, to mess up their ancient stack. Sneaking in from behind, yeah, he knows that stack is there, but he's continuing to creep on through. Constant moving coming out from Ditya as he does finish out that Crystalis and has nearly and honestly, 2k gold. So even though yeah, he's moving around a lot, good. he's got plenty of farm. Yeah, his farm is real good. Speaking of farm, though, this Bane with his Midas. I just, I'm so curious what the hell he's planning on doing with this. I mean, his, I would uh, think he wants a Blink or a Force Staff. I'm not sure. It depends what he wants to do this game. I think a Blink is a bit better so that he can Blink Fiend's Grip and set up kills with the dual relocate. We'll just have to see what he ends up doing. So it looks like Empire is going to gather top to try to push this Tier 1 tower. Radiant's top tower is under does have that relocate now, finally. But, uh, they might need to consider using it as a defensive tool yeah, here. They might just push, push bottom with the attack. Radiant's top This is what he does, is man. Attack. You got an objective, I'll get one that's even better. He just pushes out this bottom lane. Man, Empire's not pushing that and, fast. Uh, they are gonna take this. Tier 1 that Glyph has already used, it goes down. It is Silent who picks it up though. And uh, he's got a Yasha and the Ogre Club. He might be going right for a Sanjin Yasha, or that's the early makings of a BKB? Uh, and just a reliable just a Yasha. Yasha for now. He always goes casual Yasha on Jaira. Yeah. Yeah. What's a Jaira with a little sword? Oh, they yes. might get a kill on 
the gyro bottom is the vein's going to set up the fiend's grip relocate. Dyer's middle tower has been yeah, denied. But they're also going to get a deny on mid lane. They, it was brought really low, but not enough for Puck to commit in finishing it yeah. off. But man, J4 has been parked here for quite a while, and he's not going to catch anyone now. And Vampire do move through the secret shop as a group. They could. Well, it looks like vein's going to a couple. Oh, oh, this is this, they're going to move through smoke. Start working on a BKB. And uh, yeah. Uh, for Bane? Bane, 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 Yep. All right, great. You get an early time BKB, and uh, you're going to have a Fiend's Grip that's going to take Thanks. anyone out of the fight. I think the point dagger. Oh, they got a sentry. Oh, two times. Skewer back. He's done for. That was just a quick hit job. They got it done. That 40% no 2x problem for test. Empire to quickly take him down. What a buff that was. They went from 20 to 40. Pretty crazy. And oh, man. And they haven't set up Touch any him. duels yet since he's gotten the blink or the relocate yet. Yeah, no, not much as far as relocates either, which this could happen here from top lane to bottom now because there's I an think Empire push coming their way. Yeah, they got Bane with Fiends yeah, ready to go. Jump in Coil does catch on two. Uh, Silence locked in the middle, drops his uh, call down, and Cheshire Cat goes right in the meat of it. RP going to drop, and Cheshire Cat quickly falls just like that. And J4 also moves in, but they're not getting anything we out of this. And Empire duel. were just ready for a fight. Oh, my goodness. Another Dyer's lost duel. And I'm not sure what they were expecting back as well? from that. He even had disruption still. There is no way he was winning that duel. And you don't want to just be giving oh free goodness, damage over to a gyrocopter. And the immediate buyback, too. There's nothing he's finding out of this as well. Empire were happy just to take the fight, not push through and take the tower as well if it meant potentially losing others like they did previously. Oh, he skewers in the, he goes in the Roche Pit skewers straight up to the north to avoid any sort of incoming chase that was there, which it was. Ditya was on his tail. and That's a bit devastating right now for PR. That was a crucial fight. Uh, they would have loved to got a hold of, and it's Empire who make the best of it. Now you got your dit, your blink. The blink's is very much real right now. And I feel like at this point they have to just, just split push and try to find nice. solo kills. They're not finding success in these team fights. Empire has too much AOE magic damage along with the single target damage of Ogre right now in the team fights. You know they need BKBs to deal with the call down and the Ogre, and also the mag nukes even. Rough stuff. So LC yet to even win one of her yep. own duels. For right now, has been handing over free damage. And this Another hero doesn't really do much if you don't win. One. You really need to secure the early duels on this hero. Yep, I agree. That BKB is uh, now complete on silent. That's but Empire, a big grab. Empire have been doing a really good job of not getting caught out. I mean, there's so much to get caught out by. There's the clinks always scouting, invisible, relocate, relocate. Spain, fiend script, the puck coil even. But they've done a good job of sitting in five or having the shadow demon behind and not overextending in their farming pattern. patterns. So. And Ogre's going right for an Dyer's active scepter, and you can also TP top lane falling. where they get uh, the tower does fall here oh, to the hand of that's clinks. That's a lot of TPs. They commit a lot. Or not to get a hold of anyone. Magnus does have oh, a blink RP. Oh, the smoke and the smoke is gone. Clink says, haha, I got ya. Do they have a dust, a quick pop? Oh, they're they actually don't. gonna get silent. The, the dust is now in the stash. Oh, oh man, God. silent in the back line. They don't get it in time. He finally wins a duel. Jump in RP. But that coil return catches on three. Shot Glow gets it done on the puck. And now Solo gets locked in the corner and taken down. The Ogre will fall and always want to fly desperate. Try to get out, juke through the trees to get away from this one, but Ditka is right there to greet him. They do end up falling. Here's Bristleback moving on now. Is uh, He's getting much closer to his Crimson Guard, but desperately needs to tank up from this additional harassment coming out. The Quills keep flying out right now. Puck is actually pretty low, but eventually they do catch up and take him down. And it's Power Rangers who strike back in the back of a Megazord, I guess you could say, as they take down four. Only Magnus to live at the end of that one. Empire just got a little bit out of position. Silent was just a little bit too far away from his team in the Shadow Demon, and then he gets mm -hmm. dueled. And then I thought that fight might be okay for Empire. But then once Resolution went in for the four staff blink into RP, and Clink's instantly blinked away. So they only RP'd the Wisp. I thought that actually was going to be a good fight for Empire. Yeah, it looked like a big RP. I was getting all hyped up. Oh, it only I was got gonna one because Clink's. Say that most of PR got away. caught out, but 
Great play by him. The blink out, puck probably, you know, elusive as ever, and they just fire right back and get a great coil down. PR. Showing that they're not going to get taken out so easily after that engagement on bottom. And now it's evened up and as far as kills 10 to 10. Yeah, they were up almost near that point previously. Then the fight happened on bottom, almost brought it back to even. But that puts it right back in favor of yeah, PR. It looks like Yoki is going to work on this Crimson Guard. Should be good. Yep, he's close. Just got the recipe away and... He'll be able to bring in the extra utility for his team this with that. This is actually and, so uh, far. J4. Yeah, he's about to have his BKB. It's just a recipe away if it's not already on the courier. Uh oh. Skirmish right now, breaking out by the Roche Pit. We have a couple of Empire members inside, but the blink. Oh, did he pull it? He did. Oh, a whiff blink, oh. not going to catch. The quick jump over, and the skewer misses. The boys on tilt. Now moving on in. LC clears out the Shadow Team with an easy duel. And Silent might be caught out. He pops his BKB, but he is very low on life. They do end up taking down the Bane. The coil catches him in their place, but here we go. Looking to move on in. A very low Empire squad might be caught out now. Magnus falls. They quickly use up the Ogre. Silent makes his escape, but the rest of his team might not be too lucky here. Oh, the orb will miss. One more right click. They got it. And they got Shot a gym with a too. double kill on that puck. Oh, Resolution missed all of his spells in that fight. Ooh. He missed the RP and the skewer. Jump over and that's really unfortunate. They were thinking about making a go on Bristle. Uh, and that's unfortunate for Magnus. He thought he had a good stop happening right too. there, but oh boy, oh boy. So a huge turn of events for. Power Rangers. Not only do they win the fight, but they get the gym. Silent luckily does make it out, though. Just a little bit of life to his name. Has about 1,800 gold. But you put that in comparison to... I'm so worried to, about uh, Gyro. He's a PR. hero this game. Just because I feel like Legion Commander deals with Gyro so well. It's And it's especially hard. Like, yeah. when does he pop his BKB? He has to pop it so early because he doesn't want to get caught out by any of these spells, I mean, they all go through BKB, but then, you know, you have to pop it before just because you don't want the residual magic damage going through. But, I mean, he's going to have a really rough time mm. knowing when to pop his BKB this game. Absolutely. And it looks like Clanks is going right for the Daedalus here. Yep. Once that extra bit of right-click damage, he's been doing a great job today yeah, already. Those. Dishing huge damage the to towers. Puck and Legion Commander smoke to the Empire's jungle. Alright, there's put out the Bloodhounds. See if they can catch anyone out, but no one's gonna be nearby. It's Empire who Are already congregated smoke? themselves towards this bottom lane. I'm looking. Anyone got some they purple do. stuff? So nope. does. They do. There it is. Let's blaze it up, boys. Radiant's the both teams are smoke. Yeah. Is under attack. I mean Empire yeah, have to know something. Near anything. This bane is just farming mid lane beyond the tower. It looks like Power Rangers are going to draw on the map where Empire is. Yep. They circled their own side. And uh, that allows Ditya to open up on this tier 2 tower, and that is going to force Empire to quickly rush back. And Bane is going to be caught out here, hopefully, so he might be the sacrificial oh. lamb. Oh, it puts foot to the high ground! Whoops! Oh, nope, the 4-step sends resolution up, but Bane... Bane might make his way out of this one. They're pursuing so hard, they get caught in a coil! And Seskal moves in, duel catches on Silent, and Clinks is getting ready to come on in and unload from the low ground to two new fire back. The call down does huge damage. Empire. I guess you could say they strike back as they end up coming out on top two for one right there for now. Shachko narrowly slips out from that one. And that got a little too hairy for Empire, but it doesn't look like they're done yet. They're looking to pursue and get a hold of this puck who does move all the way down through the trees. Skewer goes in. Very hungry resolution. Can't quite get a hold of that fairy dragon. He goes down. Meanwhile, top lane, there's Ditya doing what Ditya does. Oh, and that's farming up towers on the side in the meantime. And this Klinks is just doing work. I feel like Power Rangers got a bit optimistic there with their team fighting. I think, you know, Bane created a bunch of space. They got the tower. I think you just walk away at that point. You know, they're all chasing Bane over here. I think you just... Yeah, that was awkward. I think they could have just walked away. And they, they would have been happy with that trade, too. They got a tier 2 tower for yeah. Bane. And a smoke. They felt pretty good. They felt like they overextended and the coil was dropped. It was a pretty good coil, but... Oh, relocate in. They want to get a hold of them. Can they bring a duel out? I want to see a fight. We got a duel, boys. 
take out Bristle back like it was nothing. And now what started as no damage at all for LC, he's got 42. So gets sent back this bottom, and the damage is slowly coming the in for LC. The pickup on Puck is really smart this game. He can, oh, if yeah. he finds someone in the jungle, he can just use them for an easy relocate instead of having to expend the coil. Yep. Not even just like her, you got the sleep from Bane. If somehow he runs into it's someone... It's a lot safer for Puck to uh, do it. So. Yeah, of course. I'm just saying if, if ended, yeah. Bane maybe gets caught out. You I mean, we'll, we could Good see like solo there. Bane smokes, like trying to find people for grips. That's one way people use. Empire, uh, D Ward bottom. And I think PR knows something's fishy here as they just move into the Roche pit after seeing that D Ward. A resolution has an RP here. But he's not going to bother waiting on the outside. He's going to hang in the pit. Nope, just as I say that, he will end up waiting on the outside, which is uh, probably better positioning. Solo is really low. Orb flies through. They're not going to jump in, though. This is getting a bit hairy. Always oh, want to fly. Wow, huge damage on him. He's self-destructing, saves him for now. Bane moves in with his BKB and grabs a hold of Silent and locks him in place with his Fiend's Grip. They have to desperately try to hold him down. But uh, waiting still. Magnus actually gets taken him down on the right-hand side, but firing back on the back of a Crimson Guard is Empire. But here comes Cheshire Cat, moves in, gets a nice double kill, and Shashklo as well, hand in hand. Here comes Whips, they're going to lock Bristle in his place. Ogre has to buy back at this point because it looks like Yogi was the only lone survivor right now to try to get away from this one. And he's still moving up the high ground. Here comes Solo. Solo jumps in, gets a bit Fire Blast. No RNG for him on that one, but... They're not even going to get deterred with this Ogre. In fact, they don't want to overcommit. They see the buyback also coming out from Resolution, who does get his RP off, grabs Cheshire Cap, no. brings him right back up to the high ground. They're going to right-click at home right here. Oh, oh my no. god, they can't get the relocate, unfortunately. Was, and now Wisp is going to come back down? to his ultimate doom. What happened there? I get Tether must have been yeah, on cooldown unless he just missed it. It had to have been. I didn't even see the Tether come out. No, he didn't use not the Tether. Not even for a hot second. I'm not sure if he misclicked or... It could have been by a second. If he just didn't, if it was on cooldown. Oh, I I get the man, oh man. That was huge for them. Fortunate turn for Power Rangers, man. No, I was going to say that their first Roche attempt seemed kind of desperate because you just dewarded Roshan and then you walk in against a team that has been successful in fighting you. I mean, they also have really good tools to fight around Roche. They can just coil you, walk around, cast orbs, make you take damage from Roche. And they just tanked way too much damage from Roche. But, you know, a couple buybacks and then they were able to secure two kills in the Roche. So I think that ends up being perfectly fine for them. Oh god. OLC oh, and Silence see each other. Cheshire Cat does decide to jump in, gets a duel off. This isn't going to be an immediate duel he wins, but he's just locking him in place for now. There's no relocate to follow. Instead, it's just Wisp running on in. And they're trying to hunt him down. Oh, hey, how's it going there? We're going to go ahead and pull out the Fiend's Grip, and Silent Falls, man. No one nearby to help out. Just gets caught out yeah, like that. And that's that. what I was talking about with this gyro versus LC. I mean, any time that LC finds you and you're a solo agility carry, <laughs> life is getting pretty rough. That blade mail certainly doesn't help either for Gyro. As she just pops it out, and the big damage he'll be dishing out will be blowing right I back mean, up at least in his he was face. Able, he got the BKB off before, so the blade mail wasn't doing anything. But still, I mean, BKB yeah. used in a death. Boy, oh boy, he does have his Eagle Song now, and 1K in reserve even after that death. But you gotta remember, Clinks is also continuing to farm up. He's oh, got 3.3K, but looking to move on through. It's focus pop. They're gonna have to try to quickly get a hold of Dick. Oh no! Quick reaction from Blinks as he does manage to make it out in resolution. Unfortunately, ugh, will not get the RP there in time, and they waddle I, back with their heads down in I shame. I don't necessarily from that blame one. him for trying to use the RP because they didn't have any detection. Yeah. They, like, so yeah. even if they put damage on him, he's just gonna invis away. So they had to get an instant stun. Unfortunately, Fortunately, Teal yeah. had a quick reaction. Some quick fingers. I wonder what his next item is going to be. Is it going to be a BKB? Call down on Cheshire Cat who pops his blade mail inside oh it. My. And now they lock him down. This forces him to pop out his own BKB. But look who it is lingering on the side. It's Ditya. Ditya, though, might be under pressure. Resolution gets his own redemption for the missed RP earlier and takes him down. And your Sanjin Yasha is also going to be complete on your Bristleback. And now Bane 
He does a uh, Fiend's Grip on Bristle while popping his BKB, and it looks like the troops are coming in after uh, Resolution, and he gets the winner with the help of the Wisp right there, but Wisp is not gonna be lucky to get away from this one. He does go down, trying to TP away from that one, but uh, looks like it ends up being a two for two for now. LC gonna be able to TP away, not like Bristle's gonna be able to stop her. And she heads right back to the bottom lane. And it's just a two and two when it's all said and done, though they do take down the Clinks. But I guess also Legion Commander benefits from another dual victory, puts her up to 60 bonus damage. I would say that's favorable for Empire and considering the current situation. I think anytime they can trade one for one, they'll be happy. And I feel like Empire's no, they're no slouches in the late game, this game. You know, they have the Magnus RP, the gyro with the late game. Mm -hmm. I think their late game is pretty secure as far as if they can get there, they'll, they have a good chance of winning. It's anyone's game, but from what I've seen today though, Someone like Ditya Ra knows how to certainly I mean, find 4, objectives on the side. Right what is he going to buy? He could buy a full BKB. I don't know. If he wanted to. BKB if he wants to be a part of the action. Desolator. He wants to deal even... No, he wants more right click. He wants to be able to really take it to these towers. I mean, I wouldn't put it past PR that if they need to go into a plan B where they just kind of put clinks and, uh, and whiffs together to just take down structures, they can do it. They've done it before. Twice already today. I just wouldn't be surprised if I saw it again. And uh, that could put Empire in a bit of a bind because then they have to fear not being able to overextend, especially if they don't have the mobility to get back into base they, as they easy as PR does. The, as good of pickoff as uh, PR has, so if they start getting split pushed by this Clinks, they might have run into a bit of problems. And he's going to pick buildings so fast if he gets to them. Oh man, Bane, I'm, I would imagine he's saving up for a Blink Dagger now. Would love to have it right here. He wants to quickly move in. Come here. Come here, Ogre. They relocate as well, and that Blink will be able to catch him. Here's a duel that's going to break out, and Solo will not be able to uh, put up his own defense in the middle of that heated fight. And uh, it will be Cheshire Arcade who benefits from another swift victory. Plus 78 bonus damage for the Legion Commander now on the side of PR. Ditya has been roaming through the jungles. Oh, Sentry will drop right there. He's not going to move anywhere near that. Actually pings it out. So knows that that's going to be territory he can't quite cross. And will take himself back towards the mid lane. Yep. And sh looks like sh not sh I'm not even going to try. Shot the puck is going to be building a hex. I think he might pick it up right now. Is he going to sell his bottle? Or is he just going to wait? Okay I think he's just going to wait bottle, for the gold. Sometimes... Sometimes you just gotta live that kind of a life. Nope, doesn't. I think he wants the bottle in base it. so that when he goes to base, he regens faster. Fair enough. Some of us, I guess, just need to continue to hit the bottle to just kind of make it day by day. And Joshua's gonna be one of them on the puck. So holds on to it, gets the hex, the extra CC. So certainly butterfly would help. completed now in silence. So he's gonna be a lot harder to kill in this in this next team fight. Yeah. And without the MKB purchase, as uh, did ya. Invested in the Desolator. Uh, you know, I wouldn't put it past them to go for one next. They ping out the area. They see uh, the back end of them move through because of this Observer War, but he just shifts right to the bottom Radiant instead. And this is one of those things where Empire are like, okay, well, we can go for mid and take a tier one, but Plinx is going to be in your base quicker than you can imagine. And he's going to be doing quick and heavy damage, and PR are going to lock you down and prevent you from getting away with a sleep, with a duel, or what have you. And they need to really get the tower quick and get back. Yeah, they're going to have to all TP now. Yeah, and they do. And then you got the front's resolution who's going to be right there to greet him. It looks like they want to try to go on mid now that Mag TP'd away. Oh, he's creeping through. Oh, always want to fly. It was nice knowing you. Always want to fly away. Back to heaven. On silent finishes an S and Y. That came out of nowhere. You know, it's not such a bad item. He probably wants the string. I imagine it's just for that upcoming team fight, because he's probably thinking... Uh-oh, RP catches Cheshire Cat, pushes him all the way back, and now he's stuck between him and four others, and he gets taken down immediately. It's not like uh, Wisp was nearby to save him with a relocate, unfortunately, so... Uh, it looks like a bit of an overextension from your Legion commander and allows Resolution to open up on you, so... They do get the very prized secondary core on the side of PR. I think ideally, Gyro yeah. wants a Satanic. But I think he was just concerned yeah. that maybe he doesn't get to the 
HP component fast enough, so he's just gonna go ahead and finish this Ancient Yasha for some additional life. He does scary damage with that uh, Empower from Mag. Uh-oh, relocate. Look who's back. It's going to be... M oh, boom! Oh, man, the Yules. Wait, wait, wait. From the, from their own team? Well, that, I don't know. That was, uh, that that was a little weird. weird. Get, oh, that was weird. Uh-oh. Did ya? Get to multi. And uh, Bristle's running on through, but they don't have detection. Plus, the sleep is going to slow their roll. And PR make out with a great assassination hit job right there. Taking out Silent. He was doing huge damage. Hey, you know, yeah, but like you said, Brit. Bit we were talking Yules, earlier about done. how little farm Yoki had. He's getting pretty scary. I mean, he's about to finish in Assault Curse. Yeah. He was like lingering at almost completing a Crimson Guard, and then the Sage and Yasha pretty much just came out of left field. And now he almost has that yeah, AC. He's getting pretty farmed. It's getting a bit ridiculous. I mean, with this Empower, too. Yeah. Like Shades of Alliance game from yesterday, and the hands of Loda, who showed that. Even a bristle can uh, be a real late game. I'm gamer. not sure Power Rangers well. want to take this super late. I mean, it can be done if they do pull out the duel on Bristle. Clinks can open up right in his face, you know, since he's going to be forced in a position in the duel. Yeah. It's not going to be but too shabby, but they also could just ignore the Clinks Bristle altogether and really just go for objective gaming. Team fight focus. Ooh, they go right in. They're going to just oh, use the uh, overcharge it. power and clinks so to fast. take out Roche very quickly. Very, very quickly. Roche, you didn't even stand a chance. Roche just goes down like that. Now Didya can be even more uh, cocky with his play. Yep. And Resolution's really far. I mean, he's not even close to a BKB or a Refresher Orb if he wanted either of those items. I mean, I think he really needs yeah. a BKB this game. They have a Hex, a Yules, Puck Silence, Quill. So many ways to disrupt him in this game. Even the Sleep and the Fiend's Grip, too. Empire now are uh, really grasping at straws as far as what they're going to do with their farm because they're being uh, herded back into their own base. You see them all congregated inside. They have to have known PR and what kind of game plan they typically like to run is... Really, if you leave any sort of opening inside your side lanes, Clinks is going to be right there to creep on in and get those structures down very quickly. He now sports five or 4.5k gold on top of that newly picked up Aegis. If he wants to move on to the MKB to be able to burst through the butterfly of uh, the gyrocopter, so be it. Or if he finally wants to opt for maybe something like a BKB, he could always do that. But he's already creeping on the bottom. They ping it out, and they are quickly on the rush back. Clinks is going in. Clinks has an Aegis, so if he expends a lot for this, you know, he'll have a secondary life. He's running through Skeleton Walk, but he has the gem. He scouts it out, but from behind, a coil does lock the others in place, three of them. And now, Shotglug might be in a bit of trouble. Did ya? The call down is everything is expended to take down his first life, but jumping in, Bane grabs a hold of Silent, but he's going to get right click down immediately from Bristle back. Clinks is now back, and uh, he might be caught out just like that. That's it. PR. Get blown up in that fight. I think they grossly underestimated how strong Empire can be on a good counter initiation. And that's just the power of two cores with Empower. <laughs> man, oh man. The damage is just huge. It's yeah, look, huge on Gyro, but it's even huge it is on that Bristle. much I mean, on Bristle. This Bane used to get yeah. full duration Fiends grips off. Now he has to be a lot more careful with his positioning. He can't just be in the middle of the team fight anymore. Radiant He's just going to die in three attacks from his Bristle back. This just shows that uh, PR are going to really need to consider plan B now. I mean, you already see Shot go in the top. Uh, might be caught out here. Nice time, but the skewer sends him back. Is he going to pull out the RP for this one? He's faking it. Nope. Has fallen. Quickly blinks away. Shoots up to the high ground. Don't know he's there. Blinks in. Ah, I got you with the RP this time, you. And they take down Shot Oh, man, oh, man. But it just goes to show that... Uh, PR are going to have to start considering a strong split push game at this point because team fights are going to be slowly falling out of their hands. Yeah, I don't think they can team fight anymore. They sort of like. They lost their timing where they could team fight. And I really think that yeah. this Clink should have opted for a BKB at some point. Because he's just getting destroyed in these team fights. I mean, yes, he does so much damage if he's allowed to attack, but Empire aren't. But he's Empire a wuss. Aren't letting him attack anymore. They're just saving Ogre stuns. I mean, Ogre has an Aghanims now, so he has two Fire Blasts. 
Yeah, no, he can yeah. kill clinks on his own. I mean, if he gets Easy. with yeah. the, with the right RNG, if he gets like a three X, maybe two three Xs. I think the clinks might just die. I don't know. He's either gonna have to invest finally in a BKB, he definitely and needs be a, a BKB. real part in these team fights, or or even go crazier with the damage and try to rat himself into victory. I mean, I guess that is an option if they just decide to never take team fights. But I think at some point you have to take a team fight. This is the only. This team is the only team I would say that the rat tactic is pretty plausible for them, just because the recent match history for them. But I agree. I mean, if they want to fight, though, he's gonna need uh, more muscle. He's pretty flimsy as it is. You can't just rely on a death pack to try to get you a, a little more durability. He's gonna need a whole lot more than that. Yep. And we've got and, wow, oh four thousand gold on Yoki. And if you look at the net worth, Empire have the two highest net worths now. Okay. Nope, not anymore. You're rolling in FRL. It's clinks. <laughs> I like how right as I say it, it changes. Illusion. Yeah. Uh oh, top lane. Yule's on a little piggy. And Silent's just gonna kinda force Fairy Dragon to scurry away. I don't think you're gonna be able to commit on that. He's going for a satanic next. He's got the helm of the dominator already available on 3.6k. Obviously gonna reserve yeah. a bit of that for buyback just in yeah, case. He's going but for the satanic. Look who's creeping in from behind, did ya? He's a solo ogre. Oh and he Wants to see He's if maybe he can take him down. Edge. This guy is just all in on the damage. He is, I'm telling you, dude. He's just like... Fallen. Objective gaming. That's how you win Dota. He's like, Whoa. what is team fight? Is under attack. Dota's a game of objectives, not necessarily kills and winning team fights. And he wants to take towers. Hopefully he gets good positioning where he can lay out the right click. Oh. So, see, that only takes us one sheep. Resolution, Radiant's huge, huge damage. They do take him down, but oh, quick blink. Wow, he no gets away. LC again, I can be so lucky. Oh man, oh man, oh man. There's a fiend script. Catches on Yoki, but Yoki's pretty big. Gonna be put to sleep now. And the call down flies, not gonna do a whole lot. They take down the LC the first time, and day four also gonna be bursted down next under the wrath of the fire blast. And now Wisp trying to get away from this one. And Ditya is trying to attack in from behind, trying to take out the pesky support, but that's not going to be mm. enough. You can take out supports, you can take out Magnus, but your Gyrocopter and uh, Bristleback are going to be living on and dealing I huge mean, amounts of damage. You can in just these see fights. the limited effectiveness of the Sklinks with no BKB. Sure, they, he kills the Mag extremely fast, but after the Mag died, the Klinks was just walking around the fight. Because he can't go in. If he gets hit by one stun, he wants that kill so bad. He knows, though, if he gets hit by a he stun, he's following dead. him. The place so careful. Ha ha ha! Got him. And LC distracting from the front. Admirable effort here, but whoa! Quick save gonna come out from the oh, wind. Get silent. Meanwhile, oh, Silent goes down. Did he gets huge damage from those trees? But they do catch him with the one stun. Man, he is just a hitman on these sidelines right now. This is actually really funny to watch. Oh man! Are they considering pursuing? They are. They jump on forward right now, and Solo's gonna fall. Oh, he, Fire Blast not gonna get the multi this time. He even gets Ghost Scepter. And, uh, well, they do manage to catch him out. Meanwhile, up and above, they get a duel off, and they take down Silent. Now only Magnus alive. Oh, no, the is just gonna fall. up, and they're going to finish him off. Oh, man. Wow. Wow. So Ditka just showing me wrong all game. Able to put out <laughs> all the damage and not get caught. I I'm telling you, man, just this is game number three of I mean, he's Ditka's basically just using a, uh, all in player. the Blink Decker. I mean, it is so risky to play like this, but he's making it work. This is a man who lives on the edge. I mean, if he gets hit by he's one of the the game could just end, especially because he didn't have buyback during the start of last fight. Oh man, oh man, he pulls away now. He doesn't have a whole lot of extra mana to work with. Wisp is there, jump in J4, BKB's popped. He's got the Fiend's Drift, he doesn't have to pull it out there. He pulls it out instead of resolution. Silent died, and he has no buyback for 100 seconds. Bristleback has 25 more seconds. They clear out Magnus. They get another duel oh, victory on top of it. Items. All of them are dead. This is going to be a dead Rax here at the top lane. Rex. And Bristle and Ogre are going to be the only two to stand and try to defend. Game. And doing that against now Power Rangers, who are all alive. Unbelievable. I mean, that just could be just three Rex now. This is ridiculous. This is three games straight for Power Rangers, where they just kind of go all in. And they just take down two racks like it's nothing. Ogre's the only one alive. Bristle's finally making his way in, but they're just like, forget it, Bristle. We're not gonna. We don't care about you. We'll put you to sleep or something. We'll take out the ogre. Oh, two times, four times. Doing work on J4. 
That doesn't matter. It's already Megas. There's all your damage from Plinks. And it's that's it. Wow. And now they make him face first. And they finish him off. There's that's gotta be game. Wow, oh wow, Power Rangers, man. They look damn good. They play a risky game. I mean, it is but so it risky. Works. It pays off today. They go 3-0. and oh. I mean, there were times in this game where the Klinx has like a, a thousand base life against an Ogre, a Mag, a Gyro, and a Bristleback. And he just finds a way to make it work. You know, if, I guess if you never get caught out by spells, and you have a Blink Dagger, you can just YOLO three damage items. That quick wit, great positioning, and you have to